Uh, today I wanted to talk about how to create a flowchart. I'm going to use Excel for this uh, activity, although um, uh, Microsoft Word and uh, PowerPoint work uh, the same way, so you can use the same method to do that. Now, uh, as you know, or as you should know, um, flowcharts have standard shapes and they have some conventions that we use uh, so that when a person who's familiar with flowcharts or process maps or the same thing uh, looks at your process map or flowchart, they can understand it easily because the shapes are uh, used properly and the conventions are uh, generally followed. So um, it's very simple. It's uh, not a hard thing. So go to the Insert tab of Excel and uh, click on shapes and when you see the shapes you see these recently used shapes up here at the top I'm not sure how they choose those but there they are anyway there's lines with arrows we're going to use those there's some basic shapes here and down towards the bottom you see it says flowchart and if you put your uh, mouse over the flowchart it tells you what it is so this rectangle is a process this um, a rounded rectangle is an alternate process. The uh, diamond is a uh, decision. Uh, there are other, uh, there's oval on here for off, uh, off the page sorts of things. And so uh, you can look through those at your leisure. Okay, we're going to use just a couple or three of them today. So it's not, no, um, uh, we're not going to do anything elaborate. I'll just show you how it works. So if you want to insert a um, task, uh, you would click on the uh, on the shape and then your cursor is a plus sign and when you hold the left mouse button down then you can draw your um, um, draw the shape in this case a process and uh, then if you type you can like so I just typed start in there and so there it is. Now, if I want to change the style of the shape, uh, I can mouse over the styles up here. There's um, a bunch of them. There's purple, of course, and green and red and whatever. Uh, the black letters with the orange outside is not a bit. I mean, I, I, that's what I feel like today, so that's what we're going to do. Um, now, uh, one uh, shape does not a flowchart make. And so we need to add some more. Uh, some of them are here. Uh, the one I want is a decision noted, and that's not here. So I'm going to click on the down arrow on that. I'm going to go down here and click on the diamond for a decision. And I'm going to draw that in here. And they draw a little weird, and so don't worry about that. Um, you can always move it around. If Once you've got it made, you can just uh, click in it and move it wherever you'd like. You can, and So I'll put it back where it was because it's about where I wanted it and um, I get change the style and type in here and type are we done yet now um, what you want to do with these uh, decisions generally is um, that this box needs to be a little bit bigger because it's um, not showing the, all the letters okay so there we go um, yeah. Uh, when you put a decision note and you put the question in, it's generally easiest if you have a yes/no sort of um, uh, answer to it, or just one or two alternative. Well, two two alternatives at least, and maybe a third one. Um, so, um, we will have uh, a couple lines coming out of here. So let me. Uh, why that flipped around there. Let me make my start box a little bit bigger here so this doesn't look quite so strange. Uh, and of course I can center the text and uh, I can center it up and down by clicking those and do the same thing here. Center the text, center it up and down. Uh, looks a little nicer. Uh, go back to insert shapes and I need an arrow here so I'm going to draw an arrow from the start node to my decision node. So all that indicates is that we start and the first thing we do is ask ourselves the question, are we done yet? 
and I'm going to draw, take another arrow here and draw that down here and we'll go to another node and I want to label that and I'm going to put yes in there. Okay. And so I've got uh, that labeled and I need a no, uh, a, a, um, the other alternative here is no, so I click the arrow, well, excuse me, let me uh, click a line and I'll show you why I'm going to do that. I want a little bit of a line coming out here, okay, and I want another one to come up here. And the reason for that is I don't want arrowheads on there. I just want the line to show up. And I'm going to take an arrow then and finish my box, so to speak, here, my uh, path with that arrow. So there you see I have those. They're not exactly connected together, so I could do a little bit better job of that, I guess. Um, so anyway, I, and I would click here, uh, uh, excuse me here, and type in no for that alternative. And... Uh, so I've got a um, decision that ask if we're done, then uh, no, and we go back and we ask the question again. If we're done, yes, then it goes down and do something else. I'm just going to put another um, uh, process shape in here, the rectangle. I'm going to draw that down here, just underneath um, all of that. And I'm going to type end or stop and I would rather have this uh, as the format and if I go to home here I can center the text and there I've created a kind of an ugly little flowchart but that's how you create flowcharts uh, using the shape tools in Microsoft Word or um, uh, Excel here or PowerPoint. There are other alternative programs you may use. I'm not going to demonstrate their use, but the alternative programs, SmartArt is one. Uh, Lucid Draw is another. Lucid Draw I know works on the Mac, so you might want to use that. Uh, thanks for your attention, and uh, we'll see you next time.